This is my review of a recent dinner at the Boathouse Restaurant at Kitsilano Beach Park. It's located at 1305 Arbita Street, Vancouver, BC. And it's really a tale of two um, visits. So my first visit was, I was unexpected, just dropped in. It was so great, I thought I had to go back again. And my second visit was um, much busier. So my suggestion is if you can go when it's not as busy, sometimes you get better service, it's much better. But this is one of the big, um, I guess, attractions. The beach there is beautiful. Look at this uh, beautiful picture of Kitts Beach. Um, we just walked out outside before dinner and it was wonderful. Um, so again, if you can get seated in the patio area, the heated patio area, I think that's the best. And obviously if you can get a window seat, that's even better. So the first time we went there, it was just on a whim. Didn't, it was not crowded. The, the server was so good, so patient with us. We had a great time and I needed to go back again. And this second visit was on a very sunny day, really crowded. And so totally different service experience. So again, it just depends on the day. The first time, I think it was not as busy. Staff were much more relaxed. Um, they were very nice about things. And um, the second time we visited, it was really crowded. Beautiful day. Um, and it wasn't that staff were um, unfriendly. It was just they looked like it was really hectic and it looked like they were stressed out. Um, so yeah, it wasn't the same experience. Um, but you know, the food was good and they try their best. Um, so that's why I will still recommend this restaurant. Um, so we started off with this um, drinks and this is a really good deal. I like this. This is the mango mojito, which is $15. If you buy it, they you get to, you get to keep the glass and you don't, they actually take away the glass. They give you a brand new glass. So I thought that was neat and it really tasted good. So I like that. You can also have it a uh, virgin without um, the alcohol. And I think they charge you about $5 for that, but you don't get the glass. We started with the seafood share platter. This is $42. It's got a crab dip, coconut shrimp, calamari, firecracker shrimp. Um, and it says it's for three to four people, probably three, not for four. It's not enough for four people, um, but it's nice. But again, um, they were so busy that we wanted to order more appetizers and they just didn't have enough time to really service our table. But um, everything on this platter was really good. Um, there's lots of the crab dip and you, we asked for some extra bread and that was great. So um, I like this dish. It's a little small for $42 and it's not um, enough for four people. For my main, I had the Mussel and Trejo steamer pot for $22.50. Pretty good deal. Looks pretty sizable. Um, you know, it comes with um, BC Mussel steamed uh, with chorizo, fennel, red peppers, uh, garlic, white wine, and cream. So it was good. Um, the only thing is that, again, server was so busy, he didn't bring me anything to put, uh, an extra plate to put my uh, mussel shells on. So um, again, the experience, the service experience, I don't think he was unfriendly. He was just too busy. And, um, you know, it was just, it felt very rushed. It felt, it felt very um, uh, stressful. Um, having said that, you know, the time before I went there was perfect. It was so good that we went, we, it was so good that I had to come back. My friend had this dish. It was Northwest Seafood Pasta for $31. Market fish, clams, grilled prawns, mussels, spinach, roasted tomatoes, and green garlic cream. Um, a pretty substantial dish. So um, I thought it was good value for the money. And it was, uh, all the food was quite decent. Um, you know, I, I think very, very good value for the money. Oh. My other friend had the seafood crusted ahi tuna. This is pan seared with shiitake mushroom rice, bok choy, and drizzled with um, chili oil for $36. Um, again, really substantial dish, nicely done, no real complaints about it, good value. Uh, presentation looks good and um, not much complaints. My wife had the crab and lobster stuffed ravioli. This is pasta stuffed with lobster and crab meat, prawns, ro roasted tomatoes, spinach, and citrus cream for $33.50. Um, you'll see by the descriptions of each one, it seems like the sauces are all fairly similar, but um, I don't know, we all enjoyed our dishes, so it seemed pretty good to me, and um, no complaints here. I'll let you know that we also had to, we shared some desserts. 
the chocolate lava cake for $14 and the mocha ice cream pie for $11. Again, well priced, big portions, uh, no complaints. All in all, good experience. Again, I think it depends on the service you get and and what night it can go anywhere from strongly highly recommended to not recommended. So because of that, I'm still going to recommend this and I uh, hope you get uh, a good uh, you know, a night where it's not too busy and the service uh, is not as is uh, pretty attentive. Until next time, happy eating.